Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your January 1st through January 7th weekly reading. Generally my readings are love readings, we will see what comes up. Now this is not a private reading, so just take what about what resonates and leave the rest, okay? I have pre-shuffled this deck, so I'm only going to shuffle it for a moment. I will focus this camera in once I have the cards all laid out. Okay, so, you know, many of you are just working on getting your life back on track. You know, I just want to get my life back on track. So I think that's really what you're focusing on this week. You know, you really want to bring the harmony and the peace and, and um, the contentment back to your life. It's like there's been, things have been a little shaken up, you know. It feels like uh, you have some fears, okay. There's some inner fears uh, regarding... A, the end of a situation. I think there's an ending here, okay? There's some kind of end of the road. I've reached the end of the road, but there's there's fears as to what's at this end? What's after the end? Oh no, what's after the end? I have to tell you that after the end is growth, new passion, new love, new fertility, happiness, a rebirth, a renewal, a transformation, Capricorn. You're starting a new phase of your life. The end of something difficult is over. It's time, okay? It's, it's, it's time for your justice, okay? It looks like, um, you know, you're doing the right thing for you. Finally, finally, you know, there's finality in something. Something is final. A heavy weight has been lifted, okay? You're lifting it. It's like... This weight is is being gone. I'm 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 letting go. I'm letting go of something that it was very heavy to me. It feels like you guys have just decided, you know, it, it is absolutely time for me to go down a new path. So that's what I'm gonna do. I see you guys are taking action and you're not being impulsive about it. It's like you come up with a plan, you follow the plan, you move forward, and your life starts to get back on track just like that. So this week is about um, starting the process, no longer holding on, no longer resisting the change. It's like, I'm not resisting. I am bringing this balance back. I am. It's time for me to nurture myself. I think you guys have went through a very rough time where you lost compassion for yourselves. And now this finally you've decided to bring it back you decide i'm gonna be happy again it's time for me to shine you know and i see you glowing it's like a week of of high vibrations for you you know there's a lot you're being offered this new growth perhaps even a new partner if you're single okay with this ace of wands you know but the thing is is you you had resisted it you've resisted this change you've resisted this new partner you or this new growth you've resisted it but i think you're at this point now where you're starting to let it happen you're starting to stop resisting it you're starting to give in you're starting to compromise you know you're starting to love yourself a little bit more whereas in the past i feel like you weren't you know, you felt like dead inside. And so you were you were letting that feeling of being cold grow, you know. You weren't you weren't warming up to new possibilities. But I feel like now the old you is like gone. Gone. It's like I, I see a transformation here. Even though the death card's not here, I see a place where you're 
letting go of this depressive state of mind. You're letting go of um, sadness because it's time for you to do the right thing for you. It's like, it's time for me to do the right thing for me. I'm going to have no fear. I'm going to move forward. And God forbid anybody get in my way. My, I'm out to fulfill my wishes and you'd better not get in my way. I'm headed in that direction. You know, it just feels like you are very headstrong. You're moving forward. You're not looking back. You're releasing fear. You're, you know, you have fears, but you're starting to release them. All right? You're starting to, you know, they're still there for some of you. Some of you still have these fears of what's next, but you're taking it. You're taking it like, you know, what? Well, yeah, the fears are there, but I'm moving. I'm moving on. I'm I'm moving forward. I have I have better opportunities in front of me. And I feel like right now you are being urged to nurture yourself, okay? And to love without expectations because of this Empress card. She loves without expectations, but it's reversed. So it's part of the plan, okay? It's part of the plan. This is a message for you. It's advice to help you along with your transformation. Nurture yourself. Love without expectation. Remember the, the strength that comes from, from within, okay? Remember that. Um, remember who you are. Remember how beautiful you are in case you have forgotten, okay? <clears throat> and you know that you have to be your own advocate. So if you've forgotten, remember that you're on the right path being your own advocate. And I think that this month, or this week actually, that's what you're doing. You're advocating for yourself, Capricorn. All right? <coughs> I think it's a time of um, recuperation. It's a time of rebirth. I see rebirth all over here. I do. It's, it feels like it's a challenging time because this is change. And change is, um, what's the word for it? it uh, change contradicts um, consistency. And you like consistency. So that's where the challenge is. It's like, oh God, I gotta step outside of my comfort zone and make these changes which will mess up the consistency so that's where the power struggle is. That's where the fear is, of fear of change. But I think that you're going to step through that fear of change because it's time to get your life back on track. And that's what you're doing. You're going to let go of the fear to move forward towards your wish fulfillment and your new opportunities. And I feel like you do have new opportunities for wish fulfillment here. And if you're single... There could be somebody coming in from your past with that Six of Cups. Somebody that you thought was long gone that was never going to come back, okay? This could be a Taurus or a Libra, you know? And and this person, you know, you probably thought that, you know, nothing was ever going to happen with them. But, you know, I think that they could be coming back into your life. And it could cause some challenges there as well. There could be some challenges. Um... For some of you, there could be even a pregnancy, okay, with this card and this card. Some of you could be experiencing a, a pregnancy, or e pregnancy or a birth, or this could just be a rebirth of who you are, okay? There's definitely a new beginning here, okay, where and it leads to stability, it leads to security, but, you know, you have to step outside of your comfort zone and, you know, change something a change is needed you know it takes confidence and courage it really does it takes confidence and courage and strength and willpower and discipline and determination to step step into a situation that is scary okay and you've been resisting it You've been resisting letting go of something, okay? It could be a Leo, could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. You've been resisting letting go, but you've been in limbo. And I think you've come to a point where 
you can't live in this depression anymore. You can't, you can't, you can't lose sleep over this anymore. It's time to do the right thing for you, even if it brings legal battles, okay? There could be some upcoming legal battles, but you are being called to speak up, okay, with this strength card. You're being called to face your fears, okay, and to open up and to use the force within you to step outside of your comfort zone, okay? It's all in your hands when that card comes up, okay? I'm going to read it to you in a minute. But, you know, I think there could be a change in home. There could be a change in location. Somebody could be moving out of your home. Somebody could be moving in, you know? And the thing is, it feels like you, you, you feel trapped. It's over. Something is over where you just can't go back. You're, you're not in it anymore. And there's like a lack of love. There's like like a lack of contentment. You know, this is defeat. It is a loss. It's like you're, you've come to the point where the situation is over with. Okay? And now you just have to, you're not the victim. You need to step outside of your comfort, comfort zone and free yourself from this situation. You go, okay? Because it looks like it's the completion of a something that was very difficult okay very difficult in some place where you felt it was secure but it turns out it wasn't turns out the security wasn't there okay and you were just resisting this change even though you knew you had to do it but i'm going to read you this this unknown card because it gets me every time and that's if i can find the book which i may not be able to but if i can't it basically says Oh, here it is. It says that um, the the future is in your hands. I found the book, though. I'm going to read it to you. The card represents an answer that's not yet meant to be revealed. It can signify something from the past that one may not fully understand. And I do believe that somebody from your past is coming back into your life. Okay? Definitely. Um... Or something that will happen soon, okay? The unknown card can also signify the importance of one looking deeper into the issue at hand in order to find answers. It can represent the importance of moving forward with an open mind and without bias. The figure in this card beckons the querent to take a look into her crystal ball. However, the image in the ball is cloudy and unclear. With time patience and introspection the picture will soon be revealed it's the you see the thing is something isn't meant to be revealed yet because it's in your hands your future is in your hands and it takes strength it takes determination it takes willpower to step out to master your emotions and step outside of your comfort zone i see a change in location Okay, maybe your home, your home, your relationship, something family-wise is changing. You know that normally your home or your establishment is where your family family is at. So I feel like, and you're you're probably um, letting go of something that you know you've been holding on to. You've been holding on to it, and now maybe you don't have a choice but to let go. You're being forced to let go. Okay, and the thing is, is, you may feel like you're the victim, but this Eight of Swords tells me that you know it's a time of change. It's a time of you. You may be feeling like you're trapped in a situation, or that you are alone and you have nobody else. But the fact of the matter is, all you have to do is step out, step out of this situation. Okay, because the fact of the matter is, is something is over. Something is over. And you know that it is, but the change, you know, affects your consistency. You like consistency. So that's where the fear is. The fear of change is, is uh, not having the consistency that you so much like to be in. <laughs> you know, you like to have consistency. But the fact is, is that it's time to get your life back on track. It feels like somebody is not giving to the relationship anymore. Whether it's you or another person or your job or whatever. There's no equality within a situation and you just can't take it anymore. 
So you're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. That's all there is to it. Okay? I see you moving forward towards security, away from depression, away from um, sleepless nights, away from anxiety, getting the justice you so rightly deserve, doing the right thing for you, even if it, you know, brings about some legal battles, okay? Even if it does, you know, I feel like there will be some challenges there will be because somebody might be vindictive in your situation, but I think that you will be handling it very, very well, okay? I don't see you losing control or flipping out or anything like that. I feel like you will be handling it with, with, uh, with ease, okay? And I see you um, being very secure and stable in regards to making this change, even though it's scary. <clears throat> this week is about bringing balance back to your life, restoring harmony, restoring peace, because things have not been peaceful, okay? Things have not been harmonious. Things have not been equal on the home front. And you've come to a point where, you know, I, I, have, to, I have to step out of my, my, my comfort zone here because I have to take this into my own hands. Ooh, interesting. 44. Get to know each other. Interesting. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. And I believe this is the issue. Somebody that is watching this reading is dealing with somebody who is not giving equal amounts to the relationship. And that's why this card came out. Somebody's not giving to the relationship, whether it's you or the other person. Somebody isn't. And the relationship isn't growing because they're too stubborn. They're too withdrawn. They're too woe is me. They're too... Um, not putting in effort, you know, wah, 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 not communicating, okay? That's what I see. So the relationship isn't growing because of those aspects. But I'm going to get back into this. Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. The need to feel loved and appreciated motivates how we will act in a relationship. Interesting. Taking time to understand each other will benefit you as you will find that this will only help love to grow. Recognize your differences and don't try to control every aspect of what is before you. Recognize your differences. I feel like the differences are big, 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 big. For some of you, getting to know each other is all you need to realize that you're different. Okay? Learning to meet another's need for love is important for a relationship to grow. That's good advice. The future's in your hands. If you want the relationship to grow, it can grow. You have that power. If you don't, you also have the power to step outside of your comfort zone. So anyway, Capricorn, it feels to me like this is a week of getting your life back on track. Communicating, 
looking at things from a different perspective, making decisions, doing the right thing for you. Many of you are more focused on your career than you are love. I have to throw that out there because those cards are here too. Um, bringing stability to your life, whereas I think there's been periods of instability. You know, and many of you are feeling trapped in a situation that you don't want to be trapped in anymore. And, the, and, and you just, it's over. I mean, with this Four of Swords and the Ten of Swords and this Eight of Swords, something for somebody, not everybody, somebody that is watching this has a completion on the horizon. Somebody is feeling trapped to the point where they just want to free themselves. Anyhow, this is what I have, Capricorn. Talk to you later.